Alistair Brammer and this is my five minute masterclass. How to walk into an audition room. For me, this is one that I think a lot of people get wrong and this is only my opinion, but um, it's something I feel quite confidently is a really solid little sort of groundwork for how to present yourself well and how to uh, come across as someone who's employable because that's what we're trying to do really is we're trying to get jobs. The first part of this masterclass is to discuss illness and whether you should even go in the first place. In my experience, if you know that you're not well, if you know that you really can't do the job, then don't go to the audition. Call your agent or call the casting director or whoever it is you're in touch with and tell them, um, I'm really, really sorry, I'm very ill, can we reschedule? If they say no, I think it's better to not be seen at all than to be seen when you know you're going to do badly. So if your voice is gone, if you've got a cold that's you know disrupting your voice or whatever. Um, if, however, you do choose to go, if you're sick but you think, I'm going to go, I can do it, I can hit the notes and I'd rather be seen. Um, when you do go, instead of getting there and saying, I'm so sorry, I've got a cold or, or um, please, I've, I've actually got this really bad cough, so it might not go as planned. They don't care. They don't want to hear that. Just don't mention it at all. Do the audition and get out. Number two for me is what to wear. Um, a lot of people think that you should um, that you should sort of dress up as the character, and that's partly true. In my opinion, I think you should sort of give a little nod to the character. So if you're going in for the role of Onjuras in Les Miserables, you shouldn't wear a, a sash around your waist and a big red waistcoat and a white baggy shirt, you know. Um, but you might want to find a nice red t-shirt that you have that fits nicely, that looks good, um, or a red shirt, or just something that hints towards it. it. Doesn't even have to be red, a nice white shirt, something fairly neutral. Um, but yeah, I think always give a little, I think it's nice to give a little nod, just a little help so the cartoon director or the director can can think, oh, he looks good in red, or, or you know, just a little subtlety. And also be comfortable. You, you don't want to be wearing some shirt that's really tight and some pair of jeans that's sort of, you can barely walk in and you feel sort of like you can't stand normally. The next thing is walking into the room itself, because I think that sometimes um, people think that the right thing to do, I, I see this all the time, because I've also sat on the other side a few times, and sometimes people think you should sort of walk in like this. Hi, hi, um, thank you for having me. Um, and while that's very sweet, um, it doesn't show a lot of confidence. Um, even if your character is someone who is shy, if you're going for Evan in Dear Evan Hansen or something like that, um, I still think you need to walk in confidently. So you walk in, you're very present, you're there, you're saying, I can do the job. Um, if you walk in sheepishly and apologise and thank them for, I just think that they're going to think, this person hasn't got the confidence, this person um, uh, doesn't believe in themselves, and then they won't, you know, so you, you sort of start off on the wrong foot. If your character's like that, you walk in confidently, hello, lovely to meet you, um, shall we crack on, you know, and um, and then you can go into your character. If they see that change, that's also great. Don't forget, they've got a problem to solve. Their problem is that they have this, this show to cast and this role to cast, their solution and you must think of it this way, even if you don't believe it, you must train yourself to, their solution is you. You are there to solve their problem for them and how lucky they are that you're available and you would like to do this project. Um, that's how you need to think of it. And whilst that could sound arrogant, I would never want you to think highly of yourself or be arrogant or come across arrogant. If you go in and go, hi guys, how you doing? Don't worry, I'm, I'm here. They're going to, they're going to, they're not going to hire you because they're going to think I can't stand the idea of working with this person. But if you walk in there confident, hello, hello, you do the job, do it well, say thank you very much and then shoot off. I think you won't go far wrong to be getting a, at least a recall or at least they'll they'll think that guy, that guy was cool. He had something or he was confident. You know, I could go on forever about this kind of thing, but uh, I shall leave it there. Thank you for listening. That's my masterclass.